Okay, so I've modeled the passive radiators and I'm gonna just bring those in now. So these are the Peerless SDS 830878. <laughs> Not a very short number, but anyways, so <clears throat> those up you could go this way with it or this way I think this way is gonna look better So we have one on that side, and I've put the hole in a, in a slightly different spot on the opposite side. Just because we don't want our cabinet vibrating at all the same frequencies if we have identical panels. with the So that's the idea there. Whether it makes enough of a difference, I'm not sure, but it's easy to just to make some randomness to the design so that we don't have it all all the panels exciting at the same frequency so this box will be made out of 12 millimeter thick uh, Baltic birch plywood Baltic birch is a hardwood it's a multi-layer very thin ply so um, I don't know if it probably gonna be 12 ply I would I'm guessing but Every, uh, especially in the pro audio industry, cabinets are made out of Baltic birch plywood and uh, some uh, high-end speakers in the consumer segment are made out of Baltic birch. So Baltic birch is extremely rigid, dimensionally, dimensionally stable, and just an excellent material for speakers. I never use MDF, um, just just preference I don't like the sound it's really kind of a dead sound um, and also it's terrible to work with it's very toxic the uh, glue that's used in the making of the MDF is a carcinogen it's cancerous so you really got to protect yourself when you're cutting with that stuff Baltic birch you still have to use uh, like a respirator and that when you're cutting it but it's not nearly as bad Okay, so there you have it. Passive radiators are in. And next step would be maybe some fasteners and then the terminals on the back. So um, also mounting the horn. I've debated on different designs for the mounting feature for the horn. I'd really like to be able to have it on a swivel, almost like a ball where you can aim it directly towards you or even if you'd like uh, point it straight up towards the ceiling for more of an omnidirectional uh, sound and then even if you wanted um, I could maybe make a some sort of a waveguide that goes in like a cone that goes in and sits on top so that it uh, creates a complete 360 degree sound radiation and, and I'm referring to when the driver is pointing straight up so that would actually be pretty neat you could use it in your kitchen or in your living room and it would create a, a, I would call it a sound field type of speaker because it would really create a sound field especially with a with a pair of them left and right to create your sound stage so yeah, let's do a render and see what this looks like. So we'll just give it some perspective here. Okay, that's already toggled on. Create the, the scene. Maybe this scene and do a final render. Another 
another thing that I should bring up too is I've been researching how to get a polished finish and there's just a so many good YouTube videos on how to get um, your veneer sorry that might have been quite loud how to get your veneer polished so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a like a 10 inch buffing wheel that will mount into my wood lathe and use the wood lathe as your your um, your buffing um, I don't know what you call it but instead of buying a dedicated uh, like a pedestal buffer for your workshop you can actually use your wood lathe uh, to, to do the buffing for you because it's got variable speed and and some good horsepower there so all right so that's what that looks like um, I think it looks great if you uh, like the look of it let me know if you think I should change something in the design um, or uh, let me know thanks